Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from the Sharps Brewery. It is a part of their Connoisseurs Choice range of beers. And it is their vintage blend coming in at 7.4% ABV. Six vintage blend, I should say. And the reason for that is we have, from the Connoisseurs Choice, Honey Spice IPA. Honey Spice Duval Triple or Double Double Coffee Stout. Single brew. We've got the single brew reserve, the spiced red, and they've got a a 10% big one as which which I kind of drunk already, so uh, apologies there. But if you've been counting. It's the six of them beers, I imagine, that have been blended to produce this beauty. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Again, just quickly before I pour the beer, Stuart Howe, the former head brewer, is now head of craft beer and innovation. And Carl Heron is the new head brewer. So I imagine he's had some input on this. I imagine they had a big meeting and they thought, what can we do a little bit different? And this is the result. So beer in the glass then. It's a one finger. You can hear it dissipating quite quickly. One finger slightly off my head. And the beer in the glass, look at that deep mahogany colour. It's clear, there's no haze whatsoever. There's lovely carbonation rushing up the, the sides and the middle of this glass. And I just got to get my nose into this one. Oh, that smells wonderful. I'm picking up all sorts of different things here. I'm picking up honey, I'm picking up hops, I'm picking up malt. I'm picking up rum, big rummy quality in here. But above all that, I just smell quality. The aroma is just pure class. Bit of cherry wood. Mmm, fruity. I'm going to dive in. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Really nice and sweet. But before that sweetness kicks in, there's a lovely hoppy. Hoppy rummy. It, it's, it's fresh hops versus aged quality rum in this beer. Mmm. It's cherry. It's fruity. It's it's a little bit dry. It's not. I just reviewed another Sharps beer, the Honey Spice IPA, and that was really nice and dry. This is not as dry as that, by no means. But it's an altogether different quality of beer. This beer, I had a big, big, hectic day in work. Don't we all? What's going on these days? How come we're all so stressed out in work? It's like you've got to do 12 hours and you've got to do them all in nine. Um, it's that kind of world at the moment we're all living in. So in that world we all live in, in this stressful world, we need something when we get home to just go oh, in the armchair and watch the TV and have the iPad in one hand and have a beer in the other and maybe just throw the iPad away because you've been looking at iPads all day and then just grab the beer and just sit there and go ah, I need more of this, this is good, this is really good Chewy malts, 
chewy, fresh, kind of baked bread, brown bread, like a crust of brown bread, fresh out of the bakery, that warm, crusty, bready, sweet, oaty, chewy loveliness. And then it's hoppy, and then it's bitter, and then it's you get a lovely kind of crisp cut of alcohol, which I like. I like it when a beer gets up around, pardon me, 7.4% ABV. It's quite a big beer. It's rich, it's dark, it's lovely, and I'm going to rate it. Let's get one more nose into this then. I'm using a Sharps Connoisseur's Choice glass, and I'm able to really whisk this beer around to release all the aromas. And that is just pure pleasure. It's pure pleasure. It's all of the above. It's all what I've just mentioned. Um, so I'm going to rate it. Mm. I'm going to give this beer another 9 out of 10. It's another 9 out of 10. It's really, really, really good. I, I can't, unless this is the solid kind of fixed range of beers. Now there's six connoisseurs choice. This being the seventh. I hope they continue with this. Actually it's, in, it's number nine. There you go. Number nine. I hope they continue with this because it's good. It's not as massive and, and full on as the 10%. It's not as uh, refreshing and and kind of just a beer you could possibly chug back as the Honey Spice IPA. It's in the middle. It's something which can refresh if you want it to refresh. And it's something which you can kick back and relax with at the same time. Shaftesbury Connoisseur's Choice 6 Vintage Blend. 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching me. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.